Hey guys, welcome back to the Tahoe Tonight Show. In the studio we have John Dolores, Executive Director for the Center of Hope of the Sierras. If for everybody that's out there watching right now, give us an overview of what the Center for Hope does and what you can expect there. Sure. Center for Hope of the Sierras is a residential partial hospitalization and intensive outpatient treatment facility for patients uh, struggling with eating disorders. Okay. And we really have a, uh, a great clinical staff and team that is really dedicated and passionate. Eating disorders is a specialty treatment, and we have done this and specialized in it for 10 years now. And you, got, you guys are really the only player in the game in this area uh, in terms of eating disorders. That we are. We are the, the only facility of our kind in the state, and we draw from across the country as well as internationally. Wow, wow. Yeah. What, what creates such a big draw? What, what makes you guys special? Well, one of the things that makes us special is we have a special program with diabetes and, and uh, eating disorders so that patients who are struggling with both, and it's a very specific kind of eating disorder, they can come to us and get that diabetes management along with the eating disorder treatment that you only see from a couple of facilities in the country. So there, there are lots of different levels of care there. Um, yes. So you've got the specialty side of it, and then mm -hmm. what are some of the other services you provide? So we also provide a treatment for co-occurring disorders, so depression, trauma, OCD, uh, anxiety. Those are a lot of things that people are struggling with mm -hmm. along with their eating disorder. Right, so we want right. to be comprehensive. We want to treat the whole person. Mm -hmm. And so by doing that, we get into things like yoga, massage. Really? Uh, yes, that is part of that, that comprehensive treatment that we provide. Awesome. Yeah. Cool, cool. Where are you guys located? Yeah. So we're located off of Lakeside Drive in Reno. That's where our partial uh, hospitalization program is. And we're also located off of Hunter Lake Drive uh, where our residential facility is. If someone is, you know, noticing a change in their loved one or a friend, what are some of the signs that, I know it not, you know, officially, but what are some of the, mm -hmm. you know, telltale signs that someone might have an eating disorder? A lot of times there are people who are going to show specific eating behaviors that you need to look for. Uh, people who, you know, may be cutting up their food in really small pieces, hmm. eating really slowly or really quickly. I um, haven't heard that first one, yes, they're cutting the food up. Okay, yes. What are some of the others? Uh, blotting food with napkins, uh, only drinking water, not drinking any other beverages. Even blotting food with napkins? Yes, see, that, that, that can sign, be. Though. Just a sign. Not it doesn't, it's not, not diagnostic right, okay. necessarily. Right, but. right, right. And, and some of the others, uh, just the, the quick weight change? Yes, a quick weight change, a, a, a quick drop in weight over a very short period of time. Um, also, if you see somebody who is repeatedly going to the restroom after meals, uh, that can indicate potential purging. Right, right. And that, I mean, that can have an effect not only on that person, but everybody around them as well. So yes. you need to get some, get some help. And you guys act as a mediator in a way, because sometimes a loved one doesn't want to confront another loved one That's about right. that disorder. So it you guys be. get to come in and not be the bad guy, but help in, in, in some way that someone else can't. <laughs> Yeah, we give a lot of advice to families, how to approach different issues and topics, how to deal with resistance, because a lot of clients are going to be in denial and not wanting to admit that right. they're struggling. And so uh, that's something that we can facilitate. I, I love it. You guys are doing great things. How can people get more information if they are noticing some changes sure. like that? Absolutely. They can go to our website, which is www.centerforhopeofthesierras.com, or they can also give us a call at 775-828-4949. So Center for Hope of the Sierras in Reno, Nevada. Anything else you'd like to share? Well, I'd just like to share that um, we're very excited about our staff and our program at coming up on our 10th anniversary here. Wow, so. congratulations. Yeah. A good product, doing well. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. All right, that's going to wrap up this interview. We'll be back with more Tahoe Tonight right after this.